Okay, so welcome to video two on error. In this video, we're going to talk mostly about Lagrange bound error. So this is the formula for Lagrange, and I know it looks um, difficult. <laughs> it really isn't, and we're just going to kind of break it down. So what you need to know is n is the degree of the polynomial used to find your estimate. C is your center. Now, the most difficult part of this formula is determining um, the value, the f to the n plus 1 to the z. This is probably the most difficult part of this formula, is determining this value, specifically finding the z value. Okay? Most of the time on the AP exam, they're going to give you this value. They're going to tell you what the maximum derivative is. Z is the value that maximizes the next derivative. So z is the value, whatever um, the derivative is on this interval, what would maximize it? That is z, okay? So most of the time on the AP exam, they will give you this value, um, and I, but I am also going to do a couple of problems, or one problem, where we have to find z to understand it, okay? So let's just do a quick example. Okay, so let's do a quick example. Look at this problem. So the first part of this is just finding the third degree polynomial, and you've been given the first three derivatives. So that part is pretty straightforward. So we're just going to find that um, third degree polynomial. Remember that each term has to be divided, divided by your factorials. That's the most um, the mistake that most students make is forgetting to divide by your factorials. So we're using this formula for uh, Taylor series. And using the derivatives that we were given, we were given the first derivative is 8, the second derivative is 30, and the third derivative was 48. These values were given to us here. So those values come from there. And then the 2 factorial and the 3 factorial come from the formula. Okay? So simplifying that, we get this is the third degree polynomial. Now, the next question is to estimate 5.2. So if I want to estimate 5.2 using this polynomial, every place I see x, I just replace it with 5.2. And of course, I do this on my handy-dandy calculator. This would definitely be a calculator active question. Now we want to find the error. So when finding the error, because this is not an alternating series, we have to use Lagrange. So what do we need? Well, x in this case would be 5.2. x is the value that we're estimating. c is the center. And the number of derivatives used was 3, so then n is 3. Now, what is this value becomes the problem? Well, I don't really need to know z. I just need to know what is the maximum the derivative can be. And I am given that information in the problem. I am told that the next derivative, the fourth derivative, its maximum is 75. So that is what I use in this problem. So now it's just a matter of evaluating and I get the error is 0 0.005. So what does that tell me? Well, when I found my estimate using this third degree polynomial, I found the estimate to be 8.264. The error I found to be 0 0.005. So what this tells me is that my answer, this 8.264, could be off by 0 0.005, plus or minus 0 0.005. So it could be 0 0.005 less than this or 0 0.005 more than this, but it cannot be, um, it has to be within that range. So we're going to add or subtract that to the estimated answer. So the way I got that was I did 8.264 minus 0.005, and then I did 8.264 plus 0.05, and that's how I got my two answers. Okay? 
So F um, so could not equal to, that was our question, could it equal to 8.254? And it cannot because that's outside of our confidence interval. Okay, your homework is to complete the power series and error homework. Um, I There is a, a separate video where I am just doing a few problems on error, both alternating and Lagrange. So if you want to see some more examples, watch the video. Have a great day.